Hello, hello. Welcome back to this somewhat hard playthrough. <laughs> and this is finally chapter one. So, here's the lowdown of what I did. Took the parrying item, so I'll see if I can parry without actual sound. This is gonna get quite interesting. Actually, I kind of want to see if there's a way I could not hear my own voice, but apparently there's not. Whoever has an Elgato capture card, tell me how I can stop hearing my own voice when I'm recording. If not, we'll deal with it. So... Right now, this is a tad bit more difficult than expected, and I'm loving it. I hope this is not giving you a bad impression of Bayonetta. But this is hard mode. Gotta remind you again. So, I asked around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the Eyes of the World. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone, but not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles. Right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. They go. This is supposed to be paradise? Alright. Vigrit entry to Paradiso slash paradise. Uh, let me show you a couple of things. One, you can destroy a ton of objects. So I'd encourage you to do it all. Um, you get stuff like this that you can use to concoct potions and uh, sometimes some hidden stuff uh, let's see how do I do this ah there we go yes yeah, so you can get some more uh, distance using the panther so one trick I usually do is um, panther mode then dash or dash slash you're not even supposed to have this at this point. Um, technically, continuing from a previous game. Since that's what they do on hard mode. Don't 
don't really want to waste too much of your time doing this, but at the same time, I can show you certain things that you'll find while doing this. So, I'd really encourage spending your time doing this, getting all those halos. Halos, which is currency, and at the same time, you're getting some magic powers back with some luck, right? Of course, uh, this is also to waste a bit of time. Why? Um, you're about to find out. No, I might as well tell you that train is gonna leave after a certain set of time, and you will find something specific after you let it. A bullet. Why a bullet? Angel attack, of course. Okay, pretty much done here. Unless I want to scour for the other parts, but I'll do this on my own time. These gates, um, they react to your power. So basically, smash them. Oh, something I didn't notice at first is I could destroy those gargoyles. So you might as well destroy them. Um, you do wonder when I'm starting to smash everything. Well, I did explain, but at the same time, uh, I didn't show you what I meant by concoction. Let's see. First, let me install my brand new accessory. Uh, with this, I can parry Revengeance style. There you go, Kamiya did it first. <laughs> no, actually, there's another Super Nintendo game that did it first. Okay. If I have enough elements, I can generate items from this. Healing items. Or offensive items. I already have some from my previous game, but it never hurts to have too many. So I might as well set them up right now. I did set them up before the final boss battle, so I'm already using my high level items, which is not something you want to do. Uh, especially at the beginning of the game, even if it's on hard mode. Uh, at the same time, I can show you some of the weapons that I have, but I know I did miss one. Oddly enough, they do give me the standard gun. Hmm. Unable to withstand the extensity of magic bullets imbued or melee attacks, those capable of such feet must be holding back their power. Eh, you're holding back. Screw that, right? But it's a fun model. Uh, you can have the whip. Whip is a really fun weapon. The claw, I didn't really notice anything special with them. The sword, well, I love playing Devil May Cry 1 and 3, so I'm really adapted with the sword. But don't, uh, don't stick to a single weapon. Experiment, explore. As for this, of course, you have to smash it. And you get yourself a fine-ass key. Guess what you open with that? Oh, what the? Oh god. I did not expect that enemy. Hard mode. Um, thank you. <laughs> this, this is gonna be like a brand new playthrough. Um... Uh, Slowly remembering how to play, in a sense. I should play this game consistently. It's because I'm switching between that and another game, and I shouldn't be doing that. Because for Bayonetta on hard mode, you need your skills. Oh my god! Okay. I am not gonna mess around with this. They get the whip. Wow. Oh man. Maximum damage. Now, okay, I wish these enemies didn't pop up so early, but I can already tell you, they are cloning your techniques. 
So basically you're fighting yourself, in a sense. Uh, a slightly weaker form. No wonder my controls were all messed up. I was thinking in Anarchy Reigns mode. I was playing this with Mirage Knight yesterday. I've got a fever. And you see, I nearly taunted during a battle, thinking that this was my targeting button. Okay. With this, you gotta lift them up, and then call Heaven's Wrath upon you by just dropping them down. Woo! And with this, you're using Witch Time to go, you know, go over to water. Uh, I am pretty sure there could be something I, I can unlock by looking down. Let's see. I don't know this game by heart, but one thing I didn't notice is do not underestimate backtracking. This game has caught me with secret missions just by me backtracking. So I don't want to mess around with that. And at the same time, I don't want to make you waste your time. Gotta love the triple jump there. All right, I gotta do this again. Is there anything in this room? It's getting me a bit paranoid. Ah, oh, too soon. See, you can't dodge too soon or else your witch time doesn't activate. All right, sorry for that little backtracking. Maybe I'll keep, if I miss any secret missions, then I'll do it on my own time. But I'm already loving the intensity they've added. Already they're giving me, uh, let's say, mid mid game enemies, um, not really last level enemies, and that's already quite a challenge. These guys take a lot more hits, from what I've noticed. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so you can purchase or you can access the shop via this place. This is where farming gets to be quite interesting. Let's see, I'm trying to bust as many things as I can right now. 
Uh, there's a couple of things I could show you here. Seriously, I need to learn a tad bit more about being a crazy ass completionist. There, bullet. Okay, I think this secret mission. Whoa, let me get that. Yoink. Just in case. Alright, there's a secret mission that pops up over here. So I can start assaulting them with, um, let's say, magic powers? Really? Not this time? Unexpected. Maybe I'm too early then. Okay, my fault. I'm not gonna regrind everything. Um, I'll see if I can trigger something and then. I seriously swear, there is a secret mission in there. Okay, well, at least you can find this on this side, right? <laughs> Some extra halos. Um, I think originally it was a witch heart, which boosts your health. You want that. <laughs> there is another bullet somewhere around here. Seriously, for an action game, uh, you do have to do a good amount of searching. And that's fun. You <laughs> you want to get all those extra bullets for angel attack. You want to get all those halos for those extra, uh, let's say, extra attacks or extra moves. And you want to get those secret missions because you do get a special bonus. Actually, I have absolutely no clue what you get for doing all the extra missions. I know you get something special for um, the portals. The portals which I'm hoping to show you, but I have absolutely no clue why this special mission does not want to trigger. Maybe I have to maybe I have to get to the gates of hell. I'll try it. I can show you the gates of hell again and hear a funny quote. And then don't you love being able to practice during the loading sequences? Take care of my babies, will you? Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. Okay, let's see what I can get. These are already seen. You can already purchase um, items to boost you up. I'd say by the witch's heart <laughs> at the beginning. Um, I didn't get squat. Let me see the treasures. Uh, I find the treasures a bit useless for now. I haven't gotten a very interesting treasure. They feel like outfits, mostly outfits or gun gun customization, but nothing really critical like your moves or um, special magical items. 